Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of First 15 here on Pastiche of Skin. Today, we're checking out Stickball. Stickball, the fun little game by World Dodgeball. It's a fantastic looking game. This trailer kind of caught me off guard whenever I saw it a few months ago. It, <laughs> It's a dodgeball adventure game. It essentially is a multiplayer dodgeball game, uh, and it's not in the same vein as, say, Super Dodgeball back in the day for the Super Nintendo. It feels a lot more kind of a arena shooter based. It, I don't know, maybe, maybe it compares in a way to Windjammers. Uh, that, that's what pops into my head whenever I play this game. A bit like Windjammers, but with a arena with obstacles. This is essentially a arcadey multiplayer game, but because the creators are their own wonderful kind of lunatics, they've actually got a really, <laughs> well, not intense, but a detailed, interesting story and world that actually plays on behind it. It feels like, um, it, maybe a few years back, some of you guys might have ever seen the, the I can't remember what was it, Tables of Glory or Paddles of Glory. It was something like that. It was the Penny Arcade uh, ping pong tournament uh, web comic where they actually like had an ongoing story where they were like do individual random issues of like particular rounds of this big competition, this worldwide competition. Balls of Fury, the movie, translated with dodgeball. It it it's it's kind of like that it's also like uh, the dodgeball movie that was out a few years ago it's just going for bizarrity comedy and having two really funny interesting main characters i love the kind of design of the characters they're they're expressive without being any overly detailed to be honest they kind of look like minecraft characters to me which is just bizarre but yeah this actually plays really really well it's responsive, it's fast, it's interesting. I don't want to spoil the story at all, but Bjorn and Jerome, they are champions. They are entertaining guys. I, I, I would recommend checking out this game after seeing a little bit more of the gameplay footage whenever I'm playing here, but don't watch other people playing it. This is a game that actually, the story is fun and interesting, but the gameplay is really, really kind of catchy and can be quite addictive and can be played in small batches one round after another and does offer a pretty reasonable challenge as well. It's um, it's one of those things where sometimes these kind of games can actually become focused on trying to be funny and doing a story rather than actually being a, a not a challenging but a fair and entertaining game. And outside of that, as you play through, you unlock more characters and more places for you to play with your friends if you're going to play multiplayer in this. I would dig this out to play with my nephews and nieces. It's a game that you can actually really enjoy on four player, but doesn't require to be four player. That's the biggest thing. This game doesn't require multiplayer to be entertaining, but actually benefits from having it. That's uh, so hard to describe anything other than that. I mean. Well, you guys, just look at a quick montage of what you can see right now. This is actually just a bit of the gameplay, cutscenes, and random little kind of moments from the first while of the game. I'm, I'm, I'd say you'd probably play through this first bit in about 20 to 30 minutes. So there's nothing really massively spoilerish <laughs> in the way it's done. Um, I just highly recommend playing it. It's just. Super, super entertaining. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been a really, really quick one. I've, I'm, I'm doing these quick snippet kind of like first looks. I should change the name from first 15 because there's games that are actually that take less than 15 minutes to explain and really are spoiled by spending more than 10 minutes on them. So, this has been Stickbold, a dodgeball adventure. Thank you very much for watching. This has been an absolute pleasure. Uh, thank you for coming back to the channel. If you like this video, if you like this game, Hit the like button underneath. If you didn't, the dislike button's right nearby. And I hope to see all you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.